Good morning everybody and welcome. Welcome to Jim's 5am club and this morning I come to you from another place in Sydney. A place that I haven't been to for many many years but a place where I've got some very very fond memories as a kid. I'm down here at Botany Bay at Ramsgate Beach and uh, just across the road there where the, um, where the supermarket is was a swimming pool where I first learned how to swim. The Ramsgate Pool, uh, indoor, uh, outdoor pool. It was, I think it was salt water back then I remember. And many kids would come from schools from all over the area and learn how to swim and get uh, certificates in terms of um, how far they could swim and it was part of the school program back in those days growing up in, a, in Australia. It's, uh, it's an overcast day, looks like we're going to have some rain but uh, it's lovely, it's lovely down here beachside and uh, I just want to have a chat to you about a topic which I've got uh, near and dear to my heart. And it's a, a sensitive topic. It's an interesting topic, but it's a beautiful topic. Um, and the question is, uh, can you love? Can you love more than one person? Um, so in order to answer this, I had a wonderful experience a number of years ago. My mother died quite young. She was uh, 63 and uh, she had retired with my father, they sold their business and the week after they retired they went on holidays, just a quick holiday up to Nelson Bay with my wife and uh, children. I stayed in Sydney to work and while she was away she, uh, she, she got a cough, went to the doctor, had it checked out and the cough happened to be cancerous. Uh, caused by some cancerous growth with an unknown primary and before we knew it six months later my mother had passed away with a lot of pain and suffering and far too early she left life far too early so I had to deal with uh, the pain and suffering of losing my mother but um, many years later Many years later, I went to visit a, uh, a, friend, of, a friend of the family, um, Mr. Adhirio Scaravellas, who was a, a partner of my parents, a business partner, where we had a business in Kingsgrove back in the 60s. And I grew up with William and uh, with William I'm uh, Kubaros, I was the best man at their wedding and also uh, the godfather to their firstborn son, uh, Aki. And I remember chatting with, uh, with Adhiri, who has since passed away, God bless him. And he confided in me and he said to me, Dimitri, Echo agapisi which is quite remarkable to hear from a man of Greek extraction to open up and to talk about love like that because uh, men of those of that generation were quite closed and awkward when it came to talking about love and for him to say and let me, let me translate what he'd said. He says, in my lifetime, I loved two women. And what he went on to say was that, and one of those women, he said, was your mother Katina, which caught my attention and opened up my heart as it had been a while since my mother had passed away 
and you know obviously she's a woman that that I love dearly being my mother but to hear another person also express that she was special to him as well was a lovely a lovely sort of uh, revelation for me so he said and one of those women was your mother it was such a powerful moment for me so what he meant was in terms of he loved two women in his life and one of those women was my mother was that they had a special bond it wasn't a, a, a husband and wife sort of love because obviously he was married to one woman and one woman only Patricia Caravellis, who was the love of his life. But he said that the, uh, my mother was special to him. He had a special bond, a closeness, a closeness that he didn't have with many other women in his life. So how do we use this to all the young people out there? I think it's special, I think it's important to understand that you can love more than one woman but uh, that love doesn't need to be sexual the love doesn't, mean, doesn't need to be uh, that awkward sort of love it can be a friendship love starting to arrange, let me pop up the umbrella We go got the umbrella up so it's all comfortable again so uh, let's walk and talk so uh, yes so young men you can love more than one woman you can love what more than one person than just your just your wife just your sister just your mother you can love other people outside of those relationships and be comfortable that you're not doing the wrong thing. Uh, the Greeks have a number of words that describe love. You know, it's, it's just not the one word. You know, it's not, not just the one type of love. You can have other special loves in your life, loves that come through closeness, through um, confiding in people, in um, being able to have shared moments that, um, as I said, are moments of friendship and not, uh, not anything else. So uh, let me get out of here just in case I get uh, caught up in some waves. But uh, how do we use this? It's a, you can use it in many ways. The best way to use it is to know that you can be open. You can be open with people. You can open your heart to people and uh, it doesn't need to be your wife, doesn't need to be your sister, doesn't need to be a family member. You can have a connection with multiple people in your life and know that that connection is pure and that connection is not misconceived or awkward in any way. So I encourage you all to be like Arigiri Caravella, to be a person who has a big heart, an open heart and can share love with, with people in his life and in his circle and be comfortable with, uh, with being close with people and without having the, any awkwardness in that closeness. Anyway, I think it's enough for me for today. Um, let's finish off with a positive affirmation. I'm alive, I am well and I feel great. To all my friends and family, um, 
let's stay connected, stay relevant, and practice love. You can be loving. You can be comforting. You can comfort people. You can love people. You can have an intimacy with people which is honourable, which is uh, which is honourable and which is pure. So I encourage you to examine and to explore and to, um, to be open, open to love. Uh, the Christian message is all about love. So to hear my, uh, my good friend at Yiddi Karavella, the friend of the family, a person that I grew up with, say that he loved my mother was very, very comforting indeed. So um, I think I'll leave it there for now. But thank you once again for joining me on this 5am club. It's a, t it's a sensitive one. It's a, it's a tri tricky topic. Tricky topic. <laughs> but a beautiful topic. And as I said, I was very, very comforted. Very, very comforted to hear that my mother was loved. She was cherished and she was cared for by many people. So until next time, take care. We'll chat again, hopefully tomorrow morning once again at 5am on Jim's 5am club. Take care. Sasagapao, I love you all. And uh, until next time, take care. I love you. Ciao. Ça s'agapeau <laughs>